Okay, so earlier um, I had run out of the five minute limit for screener. Um, <coughs> so continuing from there, right now in the cafeteria, uh, session start in 20 minutes. Um, so this is the uh, simpler way. Um, nope, I not show that yet. Uh, yes. So I simplify the table, delete all the colors, and these are fairly simple um, uh, coloring uh, rules. Condition formatting, and made a, a this rules. Um, so basically giving some ranges and um, making something bold uh, if it's like a big value uh, and, and not so bold if it's not a big value and if it's negligible like light gray. Now um, we know that one, giving a high value of 1 is different from getting a high value of 5 because um, and here I was confused I thought 5 was the supporter and 1 was the opponent because uh, and probably I'm thinking that because we are working on a survey right now and in a survey normally 5 is support or like I agree and theory disagree <coughs> um, wait, the mic is too high uh, um, so um, I, I made the mistake Hello, 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 hello. Okay, better. Okay. Um. So I gave just number five a special value, and you can do it this way. And, and I have rows. And apparently, there's a specific uh, format in which the rules are computed, which is this, which means column E through P. Um, so if you just tell them E through G, E through F, H through I, K through L, and so forth, you get the next step, is the, uh, the other tab, we're showing the So as we're here, this next step, and here we have more complex rules. Um, so <coughs> it looks long, but as this is uh, the rules that are applied to the supposedly low uh, values, which is one three one three, and um, these are the rules that will apply to the high numbers. So the coloring is reversed because if you get more of the supporters, that's a good thing. If you get less of the opponents, that's a good thing too. So and if you get more of the opponents, that's a bad thing right here. Um, so we did some color coding based on that. Um, and I looked at these numbers, and unfortunately they, they got checked that we have so much kind of felt here, because um, I looked at this number and said, okay, low scores, why are you targeting them? We shouldn't target low scores, we should target like middle or high. Um, so why are we doing that? And um, you know, this is going up and down, and it's kind of crazy over here. And then the high scores, um, it keeps decreasing. Okay. The high scores, uh, uh, well, we reduce the high scores. So, <coughs> I tried to make this campaign strategy discussion where, oh look, why are we missing so much resource on low scores? You know, we need to invest in high scores. Uh, so we actually get something out of it. And because we're not really gaining, uh, investing much, we're not getting enough fives. <laughs> and um, at this point, the other group was presenting on their chart. And uh, that made me realize that uh, I looked at the numbers the opposite way. Uh, one is actually the better score, <coughs> the, the supporter, and not five. So um, I replaced, I yeah. basically flipped the rules. Um, it wasn't too hard, I just had to copy and paste the ranges. Um, just replace these this, this values for these values. Um, and he gave us this, and I didn't have time to analyze it further. Now, the other group, um, did something interesting, <coughs> trying to reinforce their message, which was, oh look, the model is working. And, um, <coughs> 